The patient center medical home has been something uh, that uh, all the different uh, societies of, uh, of uh, primary care got together and uh, developed a series of joint principles. Um, and it's really what we sort of think primary care always should have been. Um, it, uh, every person should have a personal physician, uh, that their care should be coordinated, uh, uh, that there should be access to the health care team, that the provider should work as part of a team to really work together to meet the needs of the patient. The, the practices typically have started with one disease as their target disease, and then once they learn how to implement the model of care around that, they move to other, other chronic illnesses. And so the initial disease has been diabetes, and that's my area of expertise. Uh, and uh, uh, if you look at uh, sort of uh, for diabetes, we know probably more than any other disease that if you can have people reach certain goals, if their blood pressure is controlled and cholesterol and blood sugar, you can prevent the long-term complications, blindness, kidney failure, amputation. The, the results that we've seen is that a much larger percentage of patients are meeting those goals now uh, since they've taken the new model. Than, than before the model got started. One of the things we're interested in doing and are in the process through uh, some of our research is uh, really uh, going out uh, um, and uh, quantifying that better, uh, understanding what the transformation process looks like, um, using uh, an approach called positive deviance, which is uh, essentially in a, in a group, there are always going to be those that do better, um, and, and honing in on what is it that they're doing, uh, so the practices that have improved the most in this kind of thing, what are they doing differently that everybody else can learn? And so we're doing a lot of interviews and collecting a lot of data to be able to share that story. Um, and then the, the, the exciting thing we uh, uh, just got funded to do that we're going to look at uh, is um, asking patients what they think about this. And uh, although the, the term is, uh, for this is called the patient-centered medical home, uh, for better or worse, uh, they haven't asked patients that much what they think of this. So uh, this is going to be really exciting to get a sense of uh, uh, how what the, the, the patient's perspective. Exciting. Right. We were really fortunate that we were chosen as one of four states in the U.S. Uh, to, to get this grant. And essentially, what it looks to do is to build the state-level infrastructure for something called the Primary Care Extension Service. Um, and, and the Primary Care Extension Service comes from uh, what's described as the greatest dissemination model in the history of the U.S., the, the cooperative extension. You know, at the turn of the century, they knew better farming techniques, uh, but many farmers weren't using it, and they needed to figure out a way to do this. And the cooperative extension that is housed in Penn State here in, in Pennsylvania, but exists in every state, went out to local farmers and taught everybody how to do it better, and now everybody grows the, you know, things the better way. Um, we want to do the same thing for primary care, to set up an extension service working with uh, the AHEC system here at Penn State, uh, uh, area health education centers. Um, and their AHECs are present in all states, and their, their uh, uh, sort of goal is, to, uh, is, a, is an educational goal for providers. So there's sort of the, the perfect infrastructure for this kind of uh, uh, extension service. And the idea is that this extension service would have local uh, extension agents that would work with practices to help them change. And so the impact grant is uh, for us to take the model of what we've do been doing with the thousand providers that I described, uh, work through AHEC to really bring that out to lots of small practices that are often the most challenging ones to reach with this, this these kind of changes and then take our model and uh, disseminate it to three other states in the U.S. Uh, with the idea that ultimately we will be a hub for a regional area of this extension service. You know, one, of the, one of the challenges here is as, as we develop this new system, um, we want to make sure that the next generation doctors learn to practice in the same way. And so we've uh, been fortunate that uh, um, uh, a group of uh, folks here at uh, Penn State, led by uh, Dr. Su Ling Liang, uh, received a grant from HRSA to uh, train medical students in the medical home. Uh, so uh, there's a curriculum that they're going through. Uh, they're uh, 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 rotating through practices and helping 
not only are they learning the medical home by being in those practices, but they're also helping those practices become more like medical homes and incorporate the things that they're learning. So it's sort of a two-way street, and uh, this has been piloted with a small group of students and is going to be expanded more and more. So that the, the goal there is really to, uh, to train medical students so that they're ready for this new healthcare delivery system. Uh, and I think the exciting thing uh, for us here at Penn State is that we're, we're involved at all levels of this, you know, implementing it in our own practices, teaching our students it, getting into residency education, and then evaluating this from a research perspective across the state. Um, and now, uh, with the impact grant, looking to spread this across the region, uh, you know, not only in Pennsylvania and building the infrastructure, but in uh, New York, New Jersey, and other states.